Today on the Auto Insider, we're reviewing the 2020 Ford Expedition King Ranch 4x2. This is the seven passenger with all of the accoutrements that you expect from the King Ranch. Yes, it's a little bit nicer, a little bit more appealing to the eye, especially on the inside. Well, let's go there. Why do you buy an SUV? It's for this second and third row. Power folding third row folds right into the floor with those switches. Second row is not power, but a hit of one button and they disappear for tons of cargo space. You can let that third row up with the push of a button is power, but you still have to manually let up the second row. And the lift gate closes as easily as it opens. You can also control it with your remote. Third row has plenty of leg room, enough for a full size adult. You have controls here to power those third row seats up and down, USB chargers here in the third row, as well as cup holders for that third row passenger. And just how easy is it to get in? Well, I'm an average size man, easy, and tons of leg room once you're there. But the second row may be where this King Ranch Expedition shines. You have a tri-zone climate control here. You can also control your radio stations. You have two USB chargers, plus a 120 volt power outlet here in the second row. When we get into your driver's seat, you have the power step bar that goes up when you close the door and put the vehicle in gear. Great for ease access, and it gives you a little more ground clearance as well. The dashboard is set up. A lot of buttons here. It can be confusing the first couple of times you get in, but it's easily adaptable. Power adjustable tilt and telescopic steering wheel, as well as this cool feature, the power adjustable foot pedals. It is also able to be set with your memory seats and steering wheel. So separate drivers, you can always get your steering wheel seat and foot pedals back to where you want them. There's a safety aspect here too. When those foot pedals are closer to you, you don't have to sit as close to the steering wheel so that you're less impacted by deploying airbag in case of an accident. We're still a little lukewarm about these dials for your gear selector, but it does make the center console a lot neater and less cumbersome. You have wireless charger here for your vehicles along with the USB charger and a fast charger, couple of cup holders there and more cup holders here. Can need to be used by the front seat or back seat passengers. Plenty of cubbies and places to store things which is exactly what you need when you're driving an SUV. Let's face it, most of us have big families in these and you need a place to put all of the things that everybody wants mom and dad to keep up with. Glove compartment lacks a little bit, but I think that's in a console makes up for the space. Ford's eight inch touchscreen still is a little bit small compared to some of its competitors out there, but it does have Apple CarPlay, but still no Android Auto. Moves pretty easily and is pretty responsive. SUV, cameras, Backup cameras are a must. Different adjustments. And for those of you who are going to be towing, here's a way Ford makes sure that one person can set up and control their trailer all by yourself. You go through your checklist here, make sure everything is working. Anybody who tows anything, you understand just how important this is. When you're done, you go through the same checklist when you're finished. This 2020, Expedition comes with the Ford Copilot 360 Assist that comes with pre-collision assist, automatic emergency braking, auto high beam headlamps, lane keeping systems, and rear camera alert. And it comes standard with trailer sway control. The 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine with a 10 speed automatic transmission. And in the parking lot, doesn't look quite as massive as the GMC and Chevy trucks in its class, but it has just as much interior space and towing capacity. Well, the 2020 Expedition King Ranch Edition, I give it two thumbs up.